everyone and today I'm going to show you how I clean out nibbles. So he, his enclosure is filled with poop so it definitely needs cleaning out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, so you need a Tupperware container, a small container like this. And then we need to get some toilet paper to use as a like substrate. The kitchen roll will also obviously work. And what I'm just gonna, where can I prop this up? Try not to show you too much of my house. Anyway, so kitchen roll will work too. Just fill the bottom with this. I don't need that much. It is enough to cover the entire bottom, just enough. And then what you can do is hold on a second. So we're using this one. Just gently, it actually works better because it's smaller. So what you do is gently mist down the bottom so that it's damp, like that. And that's all you really need. Now we're going to transition nibbles to this while we clean the enclosure. So we've got the enclosure here, we've got the container. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'll take the equip, I'll take these enrichment as much as I can out so that it doesn't stress him out too much. So we've got the stick and this mermaid rock that was meant for fish. And I'm going to take most of his leaves out. Okay, right. Oh, and then I'm just going to use one of these leaves. Sorry. I'm going to use one of these leaves and I'm gently going to just. I'll just gently poke him really, really gently. Hey, nibbles. 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 I think he's asleep. Nibbles, you have to wake up, I have to clean your enclosure. Hmm. Hey Nibbles, I'm sorry. Hey, you can sleep afterwards, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, can you just go into a sleep please? He's pretending to be a stick because he's scared. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Okay, and now he's um very scared. Sorry Nibbles, I'm so sorry, I feel so guilty. Okay, so he's running crazily everywhere. I feel really bad for him, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to see him walking. Where is he? Hung around. Around. Pretty cool, but I feel really bad that I spooked him. But what I'm gonna try and do now is get him to walk onto the leaf, and then I can transition the leaf over to him. I didn't see this part very well, because I've only got me filming. But I'm just gonna be able to get nibbles to walk. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Walk onto this leaf, please, Nibbles. Nibbles, walk onto the leaf. Good boy, Nibbles. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, he fell. Nibbles, he's fine, don't worry. He can actually withstand a lot at this age when their babies are a lot more delicate, and I don't recommend doing this to them when they're babies. I mean, he's still a baby, but like, well, a child now, teenager? I don't know what you'd call him. Nibbles. Nibbles. He won't actually respond to that, I don't know why I'm saying that. Hey, nibbles. Hey, nibbles. Come relief. Good boy. Good boy, nibbles. I'm just gently going to place the whole leaf in here and shut the lid before we can get out. And there's nibbles in our little container. Um, I don't know if you can see him right down in there. So now we can get to work on cleaning this out. Nibbles is in. He's right there. Maybe we can leave him in there just for a bit to calm himself down because he got scared because I woke him up. I'm really sorry, Nibbles, I feel so guilty. The guardians anyway. of the Tetra. I apologise for the background noise. Um, I have 13 subscribers now. I don't even know who they are, but they're going to be watching you. Sorry about my brother. But as you can see, there's loads of poop in this enclosure. I'm sorry too, I didn't know there were so many subscribers. I'll be quiet from now on, Charlie. Yeah. <sighs> so here we have all the poop. Um, yeah, there's bits of shed there too. But what we're going to do, also these Christmas decorations have not exactly worked. <laughs> but we're going to take this outside and we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to shake it really hard. Um, so yeah. 
anyway, he's over there. He seems to have calmed down, which is good. So I'm going to take this outside and shake it. I'm going to get my stuff on. It's so cold. It's going to be really quick and I can't be bothered. But we're going to grab the enclosure and take oh, yeah. it. By the way, you might remember um, Amelia from previous videos. We've got her, we've got her dog with us staying because she's on holiday. Just what you might like to know. Right. So what we're going to do is we've got this enclosure open. Um, I'll just switch the camera around so you can see all the people. Here we've got loops of poop. And we're just going to open up the enclosure like this. And we're going to turn it upside down. Hold on, I'm very bad at filming this. And we're going to shake out all the poop, basically. So all gone. There's still a bit left. Oh, it's very difficult to do with one hand filming. I have done this once before, but I didn't film it. It's harder to film, so it might not be very good quality. But uh, as you can see, most of the poop is now gone. There's a little bit left, but that is okay. Let's put in that corner, maybe I can get that out. Right, so... Oh, I dropped it. Oh, God, I dropped the enclosure in the snow. Hold on. Sorry about that. And he's an Indian stick insect. I'm not sure what part of India, but I'm guessing it's a more tropical part, so he probably won't be okay with snow in his enclosure. But thankfully I didn't get that much on. These Christmas decorations are literally just, I might need to fix them. But anyway, hello. You're so cute. Um, it's a lot cleaner now. It's not perfect, but it's a lot cleaner now. So I'm going to take it back inside, put all the enrichment back in, and then put nibbles back in. So I just got the clean enclosure. And we've got nibbles here, and his enrichment, which we're going to put back in. So first of all, we'll do his mermaid rock. Hi, Let's go. Hi, his mermaid rock was like near the back here. That's where he had it, so he could like hide behind it. He likes that. Um, then this stick, which he never actually climbs on, but I thought, you know, it goes across there like that. And then these leaves, they're kind of dry, but we still use them for enrichment because, yeah. And then his actual fresh leaf is in there with him. So I guess now we get to move nibbles back in. So I'm just gonna nibble just back in now. He's in here. Come back. Okay. I don't know if I've got what I need. Oh. Right, anyways. So the enclosure is all set up now. Right, okay, so I don't know which, I don't have room to put the whole Tupperware container in, so what I'm just Come going in. to do yeah. is I know exactly what I need to do the last time. I need you to take out the three more things and then it'll be an afternoon Right, what I'm going to do is just hold this up and then all of them will get him to get back large. on the leaf gently. Yeah. next to the wall and get them to slowly walk onto the wall and voila he's on the wall with the enclosure i'm gonna put this leaf back in i might spray it first actually <sighs> Lift down the leaf and then i'm going to pop that in and zip him up Is back in his lovely clean enclosure and this can just go in the bin now oh look he pooped in here <laughs> he pooped in here that's cute right so now he has a lovely clean enclosure and in terms of getting them out if you don't want to put them on the leaf 
because they're like younger or you just don't want to you can like leave a container in there with a leaf and then like wait until the stick insect climbs in and then take the container out but that might take a little bit longer so you have to be prepared to wait a bit longer and then you can sort of do the same thing when getting them out you can just put the container in and wait for them to climb out and then take the container out that's actually what we did with Nibbles when he first hatched. We put the top of the container that he hatched in, in there, and then when he climbed out, we took it out. So, that's another thing you can do. But, uh, thanks for watching. Maybe Nibbles, hopefully Nibbles will go back to his nap now. And, uh, see you next time. Oh, wait, I have one more update. We got rid of the eggs. They're definitely dead. They're, I mean, not dead. They're, they were infertile because, um... The like latest the instruction said they were going to hatch was like September, but um, but then we and it's December in case you're watching this later on. I'm really sorry, Mom. But we decided to give them one more chance, but then we've realised like we don't have the like maintenance to take care of them, and they're definitely infertile, so we threw them away. But we have beautiful nibbles. He's so cute. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And there's nothing else you need to do, right? I mean. I think there might be a share button. Never mind. Just, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.